For the world's natural resources, we pray. In remembrance of those who labor at the sea and have gone into their rest, we pray. For the safety of all that live on this boat and all the crews in this boat and all our visitors in this boat, again, we have a toast that the Lord will always guide and save every travel of this boat. Your brother, Yes. Yeah. Wow, it's big 40. Yeah. Today is your birthday. Your most awaited day. You must be happy more than yesterday. Stronger than you, Jack. Nice one. Wow. Almost done. <laughs> Look at this. Getting there. 2.8. 2.83. That's good. Beautiful day here in Darwin. Mount Helena is in the background, blue skies, but quite windy. Uh, the mission today is we're doing a blessing on the boat. So uh, we like to do as many things traditional as possible. So uh, Chris is big into that, even with our motorbike or car, we do blessing for everything. We want to respect the culture that we are living in. I think it's very important when people migrate to other countries, they need to become part of the culture. They cannot, they can, you know, in my opinion, they can bring their culture, but they also have to adjust to other countries' culture for respect, in my opinion. So, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna check a few things with the house and then we go back down to the boat. What's that here? Alan, how are you? Alan. Alan, 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 Alan. <laughs> Always remember that squirrel video. Yeah. Alan, Alan. <laughs> Same guy that is making our doors. Two guys, right? Whoa, it's heavy. We're gonna use that for the stairs, obviously. Do you like the idea that we just can have like a old um, hardwood, all of it, and then cement finish here? Yeah, it's fine. Or you want all the same? No, not wood here, no. No? Just on top. Okay. Try to uh, source out as many products as we can from the island. It's a big goal for us. Let's have some breakfast and then we gotta go down to Pura Vida for the blessing. We're in a rush. We saw some nice updates. We can't put it in this video. We have to do it the next time. Big day today, big day. Whoa, 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 windy. And the nice thing about the wind direction here in Dawan, it's always coming on the side of the house. So we'll never get the full force of any wind in front or the back. It's always on the side. Brad, what's for breakfast? The Naolang Bangos. Oh, I like that. Mm. 
Bango Eat this every day, you'll become 200 years old. Guaranteed. Let's go to the boat. We missed the ceremony, Sherlin. It's already done. So the ritual was done this morning, and uh, Chris and Juve, they have some videos for from that, which is like really old school, traditional Philippines type of a uh, ceremony with a healer, not the voodoo guy, a healer. So they're going around the boat with charcoals, uh, with the smoke around to remove all bad spirits, and wishing us luck as well. Then there's uh, some sacrificial, sacrificial uh, animals, two ducks. And uh, yeah, that, that we can't show of course, but that is old school and we do that every time here. Like I said, respect culture in the country you live in. That's uh, very important. And then later on we have the priest coming. But in the meanwhile, we've got a couple of hours. We have brought, the guys have brought all the materials now for the kitchen, glasses, champagne, uh, coffee cups, dishes, you name it. So we're loading the boat also with the drinks and stuff we can put right away in the storage. And then before the trip on the 4th, we bring in, of course, the food and all of that. This one, very important. How's it looking, chef? Good. Yeah, you yeah. have enough storage? Yeah, it's enough. It's enough? Yeah. Okay, good, good. <laughs> so we're removing all of the uh, stickers, everything brand new. Then we put it into all the shelves. And yeah, so far with the stuff we put inside, seems like we have enough space for sure. All the bed sheets, linens, that's here. So that has to be put on. Captain! Boss! Good morning! Almost there. Linen up. Very good. And the last remaining cushions have arrived. Inside, it's a leather, but on the outside we have this really nice fabric. A little bit nicer to sit on, especially in the heat with the leather. So this is on the outside, very nice here. Then we have some pillows, but it's uh, too windy right now. And then uh, this piece here, this is gonna be like a nice sleeping, napping in between dives or cruises. We're now up in the middle of the ocean. This is gonna be a very popular spot to just lay down and chill <laughs> two more life rafts or life rings here on either side very good and then the marble tables we actually bolted them down into the frame here because bad weather we don't want this to be flying around here's the we have the drinks here here's the winery we have ice maker we have all the materials for we having around here so it's been an extremely busy day preparing the boat and now we have the priest on board. It's going to do a blessing but we're also showing uh, the boat to some uh, guests. Captain Jackson. Yeah. Start a prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Those who have sailed this craft into his care. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of the world's natural resources, we pray. In remembrance of those who labor at the sea and have gone into their rest, we pray. Christ taught us to call upon the Mother of God, pray for us. For the safety of all the thieves of this boat and all the crews in this boat and all our visitors in this boat, Again, we have a toast that the Lord will always guide and save me in every travel of this world. Toast! Oh. Oh. spent about 4,500 in fuel and about a month. Yeah. And that's not included the generators right now we're using in the construction. Mm -hmm. so so that's going to be a lot. Someday, we're, or our plan someday, in the near future, we would love to have an electric car. 
Hey, grab. Oh, oh. oh there's change. Yeah. Now we gotta go to to Magette, I think. Check for some tiles and toilet and sink for the CR on the second floor. Beautiful day. Look at that. Blue skies. Rainy season. We are uh, getting uh, porcelain for our bathrooms because wherever you put tiles with the water, it needs to be porcelain. In the other areas, it can be ceramic, no problem. But, uh, that's the premium tiles for uh, water resistance. Because if we didn't, the microwave or the fridge would have been blocking the window. We also had to move a uh, few of the pipes and the uh, sockets, but that's all good. No problem. You know, we can, even though you know, it's a small mistake, but along the whole journey of creating this house and the adjustments we did afterwards, we caused this problem. So it's not like it's the contractor mistake or something. This is all addition that we decided to do so that's our personal mistake but it's nice to have a contractor that you know it's no problem to change it or fix it we just had our friends over here for our lunch and a quick tour around the house their house is almost ready as well they're building the big one uh, 420 square meter house and that one's coming nicely and uh, it's lunch time for the boys, workers. So let's do a quick tour before they put the generators back on. Oh, look at this. Our first poco is growing. I'm gonna harvest that when it's ready. That is awesome. This is the wall behind the electric room where the battery inverters are. So we have panels and uh, breakers over here. That's gonna be it for the whole house. And then the other side, we keep the uh, batteries. All right, kitchen coming along nicely. Amazing. Yeah. It's also a nice parking area too. Here's the inverter room. Oops, oh. sleeping. Sorry to wake you up. Lunch time, sorry. Okay, batteries are in. Yeah, let's come on. It's the lunch time for the boys. Mm -hmm. Mostly it's completed here. This is our fixed window. Get out the way. Put the big window here. And we decided to put this defender here, remember? Yeah, 40. Yeah, actually, it's not just about the defender. It's just like. Um, better design. Yeah, better design. So, what we did is like we asked the architect to make a. Uh, perspective view for that in the computerized, you know, so that we can see if it's good to see it in the like this. So, yeah. Basically, we uh, we had the 3D renders of this whole area with and without this part, and uh, then we decided to put this uh, small wall down there, and actually looks better in our opinion. But then, of course, this whole area, this where they slide indoors, we're waiting on a quotation. That's very expensive. I didn't know that. Glass is super expensive. They did what I want. A spacing here. Oh, spacing there? Yeah, they put where the curtain will be. And then the LED is replied. And also um, a remote... Uh, it's a remote control to open the window. I mean the window. No, open the curtain. So that's why we have a, a, a connection there. On that. Mm -hmm. Alexa, 
Yeah. Open the curtains. Actually, yes, it's so true. <laughs> no, nothing is happening. Huh? Nothing is happening. It's. So Ellen, we have a we have a spaghetti. We have spaghetti. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go. Up. You know what most of the comments said about the wall? They, were, they wanted the Philippines map. Oh yeah, the old one? Yeah, the old okay. Spanish Philippines map. The original. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. And yeah. also I already bought a spotlight for that. So it's just like a chandelier with a spotlight. So chandelier! And here is the moment of truth! Okay, so we got 26 days to go. Yeah, Kuya said they will finish maybe in Wednesday. Okay. In Wednesday, we can. Wednesday? We can apply the first coat Wednesday. Okay. Tomorrow, I will be putting the one. Very good. Steam coat, then Wednesday, sandpaper after first coat. Right now, Jules is getting the uh, toilet yeah. and tiles for the bathroom. He's gonna bring that very soon. Oh, by the way, we won't have a shower here. We're doing the uh, bucket bucket. I love that one. My love one. Yes, my love one. Have some delivery. Tiles and uh, water closet. Okay, nice. Toilet. Toilet. Nice. Toilet bowl. The flash. Yes. This one and this one. Yes. It's quite big. Ah, okay, so it's all mounted. Yeah. Second floor, stone wall, almost ready. I would say about 95% done. And then the guys are working on the uh, septic tanks as well. Let's check that out. Fruit! Septic tanks! We're standing here in the corner of the house in front of the master bedroom. And the guys have built some sort of... Uh, Drainage system. Yeah, we're gonna collect the rainwater as well in a big tank. Use that for like watering plants and stuff. They are a backup tank. That's well, nice to see. I think there's a big pipe here inside the wall. It goes down here to the tanks. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I try to zoom up in there and uh, I have a few comments about asking about the typhoons and this uh, big roof. And uh, what they did actually is the steel frame that is into the uh, cement post all around the house. Then we got steel bars hooking onto the roof, the steel frame roof. And then that is also welded together so everything is connected so that it's impossible for this roof to take off. At least the frame, but uh, worst case scenario if, if ever, fingers crossed. If anything would rip off here, maybe the uh, top plates, but you know it's highly unlikely because the most of the force from the wind is goes up and try to push everything out. You know, but uh, secured at least. The main lesson I learned so far here with the vegetables is that the sun is actually too strong for some of these plants. Uh, you can see the leaves clearly not able to uh, handle too much of a sunlight but obviously other plants thrive in it so uh, we're still figuring it out before we set up a massive before we set up a massive uh, operation here but few of them work really nicely this is the uh, what's it called eggplant here look at this one big eggplant here coming along very nicely 
So this one is very good in the sun, but few other vegetables we had, it's a different story. More ship band, let's see what that is. We got a white truck today, usually it's a blue or red. Today is November 28. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the vlog. It's been a two busy days. Uh, yes. Uh, I think we gotta start mowing some stuff up in the land. We have uh, a lot of things here. Until next time. Peace out.